Hi all folks, this is Max from Galaxy, oh is it Root Galaxy Note? Um, yes, RootGalaxyNote.com. Sorry, I have too many sites. Um, so today we're going to install um, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, to do this, uh, we can simply install um, the CF Root, or sorry, the CF, oh uh, yeah, CF Root Kernel. Um, basically it comes with um, Root also. But I don't recommend it um, to use that to root because then you have to use Odin or Heimdall and it can be, you can possibly brick your device. I highly suggest you to use uh, my method at um, galaxy, uh, rootgalaxynote.com. Hi all folks, this is Max from rootgalaxynote.com. So today we're going to install um, CF root, which also installs um, Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, so to do this, you have to have a rooted phone first. Um, I highly suggest you to root your phone using my method at rootgalaxynote.com, which is uh, safest method. You can also flash um, the CF root kernel that we're flashing right now using Odin, and then you can root your phone all at once. But the bad thing is that um, your counter will um, increment, and you'll probably likely to get um, different booting image. Um, animation or boot splash screen anyway it's it's not uh, Odin isn't the safest method so I don't recommend it so that's why I'm not doing a tutorial on how to flash it with your o Odin you can do it but you're gonna have to reset your counter if you ever gonna have to take it back to um, for warranty or whatnot and uh, you have to build a USB jig anyway this is the safest method um, so go root your phone using my method at rootgalaxynote.com and then to install um, the recovery and the CF root kernel. Um, let's do that next. Go to settings. Um, make sure under applications development, uh, USB debugging is checked on and connect your USB cable. And by the way, this method will work on any kind of uh, system, uh, Linux, Mac, and Windows. So let's go to our computer next. Oh, actually, you know what? Um, before we go, go back to uh, About Phone and find out which version of um, which version uh, build number you have. Check out the last uh, three letters. Mine says KKA, right? So you, you'll either have KJ1, KJ4, KJ6, KK1, KK9, KKA, or KL3, depending on which version of Galaxy Note you have. Make sure, uh, write it down. So mine is KKA. So I'm going to actually, you know what, write it down here, KKA, right? All right. And then um, we're going to go to our computer real quick. Hi, folks. Next, you're going to go and download um, Galaxy Note Recovery.zip. Um, download it and unzip it to um, somewhere where you can locate. Mine, I put it on my root directory and my C directory under Galaxy Note Recovery. Um, this will have all of the files you need for Linux, Mac, and Windows. Next, uh, open up a command prompt. Um, type cmd under star search for Windows. And for Linux and Mac, um, open up a terminal. If you don't know how, just Google it. It's very easy. Um, next, we're going to browse to the directory. So mine is on C, uh, C drive, Galaxy Note Recovery, and I'm already in C drive. So I'm going to type cd space backslash... Um, this is actually a backslash this way, um, spot, <laughs> slash, it's the opposite of that slash, my Korean font makes it into a W. Um, so CD backslash galaxy note, note recovery like that, alright, and enter. For, uh, for Mac or Linux, the slashes are the backwards, the other way like that, so do that. And once you're in uh, galaxy note recovery directory, um, basically, we're going to type ADD devices. Um, and if it says offline, then you might want to reboot your device. Actually, I'm going to do that real quick. I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? You might be able to just unplug it and plug it. And it might actually work. Let me try that again. All right. So just unplug it and plug it in. And now you got device. Make sure you got device. And uh, for Mac or Linux, use ADB dash like that instead of ADB and Mac dash Mac. 
and then everything. Everything I'm typing here, you just gotta change the ADB to ADB-Mac or ADB-Linux with dot slash in front. And make sure you have super user access for uh, Linux users, otherwise um, you might not be able to get it done correctly. Next, what we're gonna type is uh, basically all of this, and uh, you're gonna replace KKA um, with the model number of your Galaxy Note. So you can do, it can either be KJ1, KJ4, KJ6, KK1, KK9, KK8, or KL3. But mine is KKA, so I left that there. And I'm simply gonna copy and paste um, here. And you can go here and change it if you want, um, the KKA, all right? And then I'm gonna press Enter. And uh, it'll say some kind of kilobytes per second. That's that's good. Next, I'm gonna type ADB shell. All right. And uh, and next type, I'm gonna type SU. And next, I'm gonna copy and paste this over. Paste DD if like that. This basically um, installs a Z image, to, which is a kernel, to your uh, this block MMC block zero P five. That's what it is. And that pretty much installs your um, kernel, and we can erase the temp uh, the Z image the temp in this temporary spot, rm slash uh, data slash like that, and then simply reboot, and uh, we should have a um, new app called CWM, so we can mm -hmm. access um, Galaxy Note recovery. So we'll go to our phone real quick. Hi, folks. So it rebooted. Um, you should find that now you have. Uh, another application called um, CWM and uh, this will allow you to reboot into recovery um, it's kind of like clockwork manager but um, clockwork manager is not supported for galaxy um, note yet so you can use this um, flash update flash kernel also you can boot into clockwork mod recovery and do everything manually which I prefer and I highly recommend sometimes things can go wrong Anyway, you can reboot into Clockwork Mod Recovery like that. And also, if you install another ROM, it might erase that application. So I'll show you how to get into um, Clockwork Mod Recovery without um, CWM app also. So I got into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Let me reboot. And also, anytime you want to get into Clockwork Mod Recovery, um, you can hold down the power button, which, which will reset your phone. Anytime um, during your your uh, phone is on and hold up hold down the volume up and the power button and then the, hold down the power button so it'll reset and as soon as you see the logo the Samsung logo after it resets um, not that one the other one you can let go of the power button the um, as soon as you see the Galaxy Note there and let go of uh, the power button but keep holding down the volume up and the middle button and now there you go that's another way you can get into Clockwork Mod Recovery um, we'll reset now. Anyway, now you can go ahead and install um, new ROMs, back up your current stock ROM, which I highly suggest you to do first. I have a video on that. Again, um, just because there's going to be a lot of Galaxy Note users who are new to Android, and also how to back up your apps and Titanium backup and everything. Anyway, check out Gal uh, rootgalaxynote.com for more tips and hacks and stuff. Uh, I'll post all the you know newbie tutorials there, so you can all follow it using the video. You may subscribe, favorite this video. Thanks y'all and see y'all later.